it is an absolutely beautiful morning so i am outside also i've misplaced my tripod i don't know where it is so i'm holding it so forgive me that said let's get started the homeschool curriculum market has absolutely exploded in the last five years like homeschooling itself and there are more programs than you could ever try out in your entire homeschool journey and sometimes when <laughs> there are so many it's easy just to go with what everybody uses but what if what everybody uses doesn't work for your family or you just want to try something different but you don't know where to start or maybe you're like me and you want to purposefully choose something that most people aren't using one of my little quirks that's where the series comes in. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be putting up several videos. Um, each video will have five suggestions of curriculum for the different subjects that I'll do. And they're just ideas to get you started. Um, whether you need something because it's not working or you just want to try something different, this will give you um, some place to start with couple things about the series. Number one, I have not tried all the curriculum that I will be suggesting. However, I have looked over it um, either before this video or in the past. It's something that I would consider using. Um, you know, if I, if that type of curriculum is what I was looking for, I would definitely consider using them. Um, I, if, if I have talked about it in a video, I will link it. If not, I would suggest going over to Kathy Duffy's website. I think she has the best one-stop shop for curriculum reviews. Um, I will leave all the titles down below as well. Videos will include suggestions for both middle or for elementary and middle school and high school. Um, and oh, and the big thing is I tried to choose curriculum programs that are not the big names. So not the ones that you've probably heard of. For example, in this one with math, I'm not going to talk about teaching textbooks or Write Start Singapore. Those are ones that you have very likely heard of. And, but I, my goal is to introduce programs to you that may, may not be what you've heard of, but are still quality programs. Let me check my notes. This is so much easier to check my notes when I don't also have to hold the video, hold the camera. If you have a favorite that I don't mention, you probably, there's a good chance of that, leave it down in the comments. Spread the love for our favorite programs. First up is my beloved Beast Academy. I have talked about this in a video. Oh, my blind, my cat is climbing, you can't see where I turn the video around, my cat's climbing the blinds right on where I can look because he is desperate to get out here to me. Not to get outside, but to get to me. Uh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Sorry. Um, Beast Academy. I have talked about this in a video. I have talked about this numerous times over on Instagram. I love Beast Academy and I really wish that it had been around for my daughter. It is put out by Art of Problem Solving. They also have um, little like algebra, pre-algebra and up levels. They even go into things like number theory. So they have quality, rigorous programs. Beast Academy is fun. So much fun. It is, it is good for kids who really like to solve, to be challenged a bit. Um, I first found it for Ben because it doesn't have a lot of practice and he hates practicing problems over and over. So um, a program like Singapore and Math Mammoth, which is what I tried first, just he hated it. <laughs> so um, that's how I came to Beast Academy. It is fantastic. The high school level and middle school levels are also really good. We did the algebra one last year with Elizabeth as a second, al second year of algebra. Um, I can't say good, enough good things about Beast Academy. Um, the art of problem solving, the middle school and high school level, they are tough and they are not laid out like a normal textbook. Um, 
but they're really good if it'll work for you. Art Problem Solving has videos on their website. They have classes that you can take through their website. And the Well-Trained Mind Academy also has classes that are that use um, Art of Problem Solving books for older kids. Oh, and Beast Academy just came out with an online subscription this year as well. It is not a supplement to the books. It's the books online. So whichever way will work for you. Next one is CTC Math. This is an online math program and honestly for several years I I didn't think it was a quality program but I never really looked at it honestly either. I just discounted it for no good reason. Um, yeah, no good reason. But if you're looking for an online program, self-paced, um, kind of, I don't want to say similar to teaching textbooks because it's not, but that kind of a setup where it's all taught to your child via the computer, they do the work online, then I would definitely suggest it. Um, it is $80 for a year if you need just a single child. If you need um, a family membership, it's $120, and that is a great deal um, if you do need for more than, if you have more than one child who can use it. And I've known people who use it who have all kinds of children and learning styles. So if I were looking for something computer-based, CTC Math would be my choice. Number three, speaking of online, myhomeschoolmathclass.com. I have done a review about this one and I have sung her praises many times. My daughter has taken Algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, and then next year we'll take Algebra 2 with Mrs. Perkins on my homeschool math class. And she is fantastic. She is engaging. She is thorough. She has high standards for the kids. Um, if, she, if I could have had her in high school, math would have gone differently. I learned so much from her just through my daughter. So I, she's fantastic. Um, her prices are reasonable. I don't remember what they are actually because we pay by the semester because you get a discount. But you can also pay it month by month, which I really like because there's not a commitment. So if you get two months into it and decide that this is not for you and not for your child, you can quit and you don't have to continue um, doing it and you don't, you're not going to feel like you wasted, you know, that you should stick it out just because you've paid for a year's or a semester's worth of math. So I really appreciate that about her. Um, she uses traditional textbooks. Um, they're good. I, I can't say enough good things about her. My daughter absolutely loves it. This year when we started planning for 10th grade, and we're talking about what classes we would outsource and how they would fit schedule wise and I asked my daughter what class she would want to prioritize as far as like planning everything else around it and her answer was the math class so I, she's amazing definitely check her out and I do have a video review on that one number four workbook ish would be Mathematical Reasoning by Critical Thinking Company. I love Critical Thinking Company products and the Mathematical Reasoning series is fantastic. We have not used it, so I shouldn't say it is fantastic, it looks fantastic. Um, we have not used it if... I have considered using it next year for Ben when he finishes Beast Academy 5 because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with him after that. So we may use it as a filler next year. We'll see. Um, the books are about $40 each and you can get them print or ebook. And I think they go all the way through 12th grade. I'm not positive on that actually, but I know there were a bunch listed. <laughs> and number five is um, MEP Math, MEP Math. I'm not sure I always call it math. It is a program out of England. You can download it. 
that's what I would do. We would download it and either write on, like load the tab, load the PDFs into um, a tablet onto onto the tablet and do it, or I print it out. It is really good. It's um, I used it for both boys for a couple years, and I don't really know entirely why I switched. Um, at least for Matthew, I don't know. It was I enjoyed it. So doing this series actually made me think I should go back and take a look at it again. Um, there's a teacher's guide that you can print out. I never did, but that was when the boys were little, so I don't know if you need it, you know, later on, if it's more important. Um, but it's really good. It's straightforward, get it done type of stuff. There's not set up. There's um, I don't know, a couple pages to a lesson. Just a pretty basic get it done type of program. And bonus, it's free. Check the links down below. I'll see you in the next video.